Oh, damn it. He brought the moon closer. It's coming in on us now. Okay, we really have to do something fast. Okay, well, the Skull Kid's up there. We need the Ocarina, so... Let's at least get that back. Let's just hit him right in the face. Okay, I gotta stand back, though, if I want to hit him, though. Gotcha! Pow! Right in the kisser. Okay, whatever. Okay, he dropped the Ocarina, which... I guess we can pick up now. Not that it would do any good, but who knows. Ah, oh, Princess Zelda gave us the ocarina. That's right, she did. Memories of Princess Zelda come rushing back? Oh my god, flashback. This is like right this is like what happened right before the game started. Does that song sound familiar, guys? That is the Song of Time from Ocarina of Time. So, let's play that song. Obviously, use the control st or the C buttons and then the A button to play the song. The only the only reason I said control stick is because I'm using the GameCube controller, so it's technically a stick for me. And we learn the Song of Time. That sounds very, very convenient. And it sounds like the kind of goddess who we want on our side right now. <laughs> hmm, that sounds like a very, very obvious clue. So let's get our ocarina out. And let us play the song we learned in the flashback. And because we're a Deku Scrub, and Deku Scrubs can't play Ocarinas, the Ocarina turns into a bunch of organ pipes for some reason. I'm not really sure why, but... What does it matter? We're trying to get out of here. We play the song of time, and... Okay, yeah, that sounds really good right now. Let's warp to the first day and try this all again. Because obviously we're not going to defeat that thing. Especially as a Deku scrub, so... Let's go back and regain our composure. And now that we technically have the Ocarina, we can actually talk to the Happy Mass Man. And turn back into a human, so that's always nice. We get a little flashback of all the things we've seen thus far. And we return to the dawn of the first day. Wow, everything has started over. The construction workers are back. I'm pretty sure that stupid dog is back. Everything has definitely started over. And yeah, the moon has jumped back a few feet into the air, so... We don't have to worry about the moon anymore. And no, we didn't, actually. I remember it all the way through. So, let's go back in here and find the mass salesman. He's right there waiting for us, so let's show him the ocarina. Well, that won't do any good. Okay, let's actually talk to him. Yes, we were. Hey, stop shaking me. What did I do to you? And wh where'd that, where'd that organ come from? That thing wasn't there. 
Either way, he's going to teach us another song. This song is also going to be very helpful throughout our adventure, but not so much as the song of time, obviously. So we played that, and we learn the song of healing. And when we do that, we wake up from our little nightmare. Although I guess it's not so much a nightmare, but... We wave goodbye to the Deku. And we're back to a human again. And a weird Deku mask appeared out of nowhere. Okay, that's kind of weird. Apparently the song heals souls and then turns that soul into a mask. Which, when you wear the mask, you can turn into that form again. Which is kind of weird, but it is helpful, I guess. I guess that's the whole point of this. And we get the Deku Mask. So all we do is whenever we want to turn into a Deku Scrub again, we just put on the mask. And then we're once again a Deku Scrub. So I'm pretty sure that will become a very helpful item for us to have. Especially when we get to areas with Deku Leafs. And, oh, yeah, that's right. We did promise him to get back the mask for him. Unfortunately, we don't exactly have it. Don't tell me. My mask. You did get it back, didn't you? No, I didn't. Oh, God! No, put me down! What did I do? I'm sorry, I tried. He, he brought the moon at me. I got scared. I ran away. You're the one having a nervous breakdown right now. So what is the deal with that mask anyways? Okay, it's called Majora's Mask. I think we probably figured that out already. It's a cursed item from legend that is said to have been used by an ancient tribe in its hexing rituals. It is said that an evil and wicked power is bestowed upon the one who wears that mask. And why do you have the mask again? Why was that easily obtainable for you? According to legend, the troubles caused by Majora's Mask were so great. The Ancient Ones, fearing such a catastrophe, sealed the mask in a shadow forever, preventing its misuse. Yet you have it! Why do you even have that mask? I mean, you're obviously not the bad guy here, but still, you shouldn't have a mask like that. I'm, ju I'm just wondering how. It was sealed by the goddesses, or the gods, or whatever you want to call them. And he just had it. He got it somehow. Okay, so he's obviously insane. But, I guess we assured him that we will try to get it back. He has very high hopes for us, apparently. So, let's stop talking to you. Because you're obviously freaking us out. You spawned a piano out of nowhere. Like, seriously, that piano is not in this room. But, anyways, I'm actually kind of running low a little bit on time. So, I'm actually going to save my game here in a moment. But first, we have to listen to Tattle. Tattle does have a few things she needs to say. And apparently the four areas uh, Tail was talking about have reference to what we're supposed to do, so... We'll definitely keep that in mind. And I guess first we'll be going to the swamp. But, anyways, I'm gonna end the recording here. You see this thing right here? Whenever you find a statue like this, hit this with your sword. Because when you do that, you can actually talk to it, and you can save your game. Uh, they also have a second use, but we'll find that out much later in the game. So, um, this is Slim Kirby. This has been Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. I'll see you guys next time for when we continue our game. Later, folks.